This is an update video for the Park uh, SIGGEN. Uh, it's now using my own uh, SI5351 library and I've tweaked the library now to extend the range of the uh, SI5351 so now it can go all the way from uh, 1500 Hertz all the way up to 225 megahertz. I'm just going to demonstrate that now. So I'm going to go in and go into the clock selection, turn the rotary encoder, select clock 1, because clock 1 is what's using the dedicated PLL, which can go the full extent of the SI5351. We're going to enable it, and I've got clock 1 connected to my scope. And uh, you can see it's set for 100 megahertz, and there we're seeing 100 megahertz coming out of it. So I'm now going to go ahead and change the digits to tens of megahertz. I'm going to increase it all the way up. There it is at 200 megahertz. So there it is at 200 megahertz. The amplitude has dropped off. So, so there you can see that it's at 200 megahertz. And I'm going to increase it even further. There's 210, 220, and all the way up to the maximum, which is 225. And if we go back to the scope and we look at the scope, we'll see that it's 225 megahertz. And so now I'm going to go and I'm going to shift that all the way down to 1500 hertz. And there it is at uh, 1500 hertz. And we come over here and we and there's a signal there and you can see it's at 1500 hertz. 1.5 kilohertz. I've also extended the I and Q uh, range so it goes all the way from 3 megahertz all the way up to 80 megahertz that I found above uh, 80 megahertz between 80 to 90 mega uh, 80 to 90 megahertz you're no longer getting the signals in quadrature they uh, they start uh, uh, slipping a bit so let's go over to I and Q. So there's I and Q. Let's enable it. It's going to 5 megahertz there. I've got my scope probes connected to clock uh, 0 and 2. And if we go to my scope, you can see both traces. They're at 5 megahertz. And you can see that they're in quadrature. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the frequency here. There it is at uh, 3 megahertz. And we come to the scope. You can see it's 3 megahertz. And you can still see it's in quadrature. However, the odd thing happens at this frequency, at the lowest frequency, the uh, signals shift. The clock 2 now leads clock 1. So I'm not sure whether that's going to be usable in quadrature. Here I'm going to change frequencies and you'll see the leading and lagging changing. So there. You now see that uh, the purple trace is lagging and the yellow trace is leading. And uh, I can do this all the way up to 80 megahertz. There it is at uh, 80 megahertz. And if we look on the scope here, you'll see it's 80 megahertz. And you'll see even at 80 megahertz, you'll see these signals are not quite in quadrature. Because if you look at the signal here and the signal here, it's about there. 
quadrature should be this peak should be halfway between the peak and the trough and should be roughly about here so you could see it's not quite in quadrature so you could see towards uh, 80 megahertz you're not getting the signals quite in uh, in uh, quadrature